Hello and welcome to another Let's Play Faster Than Light. You know what What I've been having a problem with lately? I've been focusing too much on lasers. Is there someone around here who can help me with that problem? Yes there is! I am Missile Master Melia! And this of course is the Missile Master ship made by me, Melia, the <laughs> Rockman. Uh. <laughs> exactly. It is a glorious color. Why didn't you paint it pink again, Styles? I am Miss Arbasta Belia, and because I am a princess, this must be my ship. <laughs> it must be painted like a princess would have it. Princess? Wait, what did you say the name was? I am Miss Arbasta Belia. I thought you said Melina. Okay, funny thing. I know another Australian who has an OC that you, called Princess Melina. Who wears pink, she wears glasses, she's a kick-ass fighter as dragons and stuff. And missiles will definitely be your thing. I swear to God, if you knew him and the OC, I'd be like, what the hell, small world. <laughs> okay, to be honest, it was a, um, the, um, idea I got. Melia is from Xenoblade Chronicles. <laughs> All right. She's a kick-ass, kick-ass princess who uses fireballs and stuff like that, and 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 basically is a is a long-range support mage. You'd have her sitting, you have her sitting outside the battlefield, like far away from your mom, from the enemy, while everyone else beats the crap out of him. She's like, you know, throws she's fireballs. She's basically and, living artillery. Well, so she's, like, she's a glass cannon. You don't want to get into combat. Yeah. So we have the missile Vulcan, which quite possibly might oh, yeah. be the greatest thing since sliced bread. Oh, um. It, it does like it does like an art. It's like an Artemis, except you know it fires faster every time. Yeah, it fires like a it fires like a Vulcan. The adaptive and missile which up. gets stronger every time it fires. Yeah, that's why, that's why it's called adaptive because you know it hits the enemy hull or it misses or whatever, and it programs another sequence to be more explosive. And of course, swarm missile because why not? Just and an explosive replicator. Get the artillery. <laughs> A massive barrage of missiles. Yeah, the multi-missile massacre. No, 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 no. Now then, now what we need is to get a Japanese schoolgirl to do this, because then it would be a Moe missile, multi-missile massacre. <laughs> well, no, 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 she's a Moe missile... The, no, a Moe multi-missile massacre maiden. Because in the show, Macross or Robotech, you have, um... Essentially, the miss yeah, like everything fires a lot of missiles. Missiles are essentially favored by everyone in that in that see in that anime. Mm-hmm. As you can see here, I've um the the idea behind the weapons is you have a choice of either you can do more damage over time or you'll just open up the Vulcan. That, that's the you start. Or if you don't want to do either one, if you want to save missiles, there's a swarm. Yep, we got options. And yeah, today's run will send, only be done with you know, missiles. Down the med bay. You might want to. Oh, don't send the helicopter. Hmm. No joke. You know what? This seems like a great idea. Not. Yeah. Put some power in the engines. That you've um, you got. Since you powered down the med bay, you might as well have more evasion. Oh, right, right. What to am be I honest, with this ship, I didn't actually get very far when I was doing my own let's play, but it was a bad luck. This is one of those. That's the problem of using missiles. Because you're always running out of resources. Yeah, well, I didn't run. Out, I don't think I ran out of resources. It was more like I think I switched to um, I switched lanes or something like that, and then just you know, bad luck happened. Everything got set on fire. The usual, the usual stuff that happens to a rock ship. Of course. Oh, I think it's speeding up. Well, so be careful when you auto fire that thing. Yeah. Boom! 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 <laughs> Don't forget the crotch grab whenever you do the ka boom. <laughs> Don't forget to also spend your money! Yep. That's a breeder. Where I... Well, crap! This is a good oh, place no, to be! There. It's like looking at Freezer naked. Oh! 
god, no! The funny thing is that when 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 Krillin used the solar flare on Frieza, it did the same thing. With the like, door, you know, it, actually, it showed a picture. It showed a picture of Frieza. But when he did it on free someone else, it was Dodoria. <laughs> as, as in, Krillin did it to Freezer, and that's exactly what happened was it showed a picture of Freezer. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Gee, they're even going to fire now. <laughs> See, this one means my bad luck. This, will, uh, this can and will happen. Okay, everything. Everything will get Okay, fire. we never talk about that run ever again. I saw nothing, nothing. I didn't even get out of bed this morning. What? Exactly, I saw nothing. I saw nothing, nothing happened. I didn't approach this area and I did not get out of bed this morning. Emergency oh, respirators. Like, what we might even buy the pressure from it. You know what's the weirdest thing? In that mission where, you know, if you sit, you know, if you send like a rock person in, then they'll give you a random augment. One of the augments you can get from that fire is, fi you know, a fire suppression system. They do comment the fire suppression system isn't working. So what probably happens is that you take the fire suppression system and, and you get it working. <laughs> and they just plus give it also, to you. Plus the actual fire suppression system in the game sucks. It the does. Men, the men are they're good. They're, they're the rebels. Do some piracy. Of course, I'll try and escape, but... Oh, heck. It's like you're going to be using artillery. No, I'm a little more concerned about this than that. Uh... The beam. Beam! What was the name of the beam master again? The beam master. Yeah, from, from the show. That's what I mean. He is the great and powerful Beam Master! Oh, that's what he called himself. I was trying to figure out... ...by superior beam weaponry! Yeah, I was trying to figure that out because in uh, my other Let's Play, I was... I met the Beam Master again! You know what? Let's just... Can we just make a vow that whenever we meet up with a ship that just re uses beams to attack you... Yeah, that's the Beam Master! It's always a beam master, even if it's an auto ship. Exactly. It's a beam master. It's a beam master version two. It's beam master brand. It's a beam no, master brand. No, ship. no, it's beam master two point oh. You know, robot. <laughs> yeah. And you got a small bomb. Cause you, that's what you need. More missiles. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna do a missile run. It's like the Kessel run, except. You know, I'm not going near a black hole. Yeah, and you're doing, and you're doing more than 12 hmm. parsecs. Should we the board debris. the station, Don't look the for station. survivors, or scrap some of the debris? Nope. Scrap the debris, scrap the debris, because that space station, that space station's an asshole. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Okay, if you have a med bay, your crew's gonna get torn apart by cannibals. Yeah, that's the right. thing. The if you have a clone bay, like your... if, if you have a clone bay, your crew's gonna get torn apart by a disease which they can't cure. Oh my god, yeah! So... The other choice when the... When the so, I'm not sure if the derelict ship or derelict station does it, but in any case, both are assholes. I know! So, I know so what you mean. Don't, don't, bother, don't bother boarding them, just destroy it from orbit. Ugh, quit okay, shooting me, you asshole! We dick weedle. Yes! That drone's a dick weedle. It's a dick weedle branded drone! Yeah, you might wanna you might wanna get those guns you might wanna get the guns fixed. Y you think? You think? No no, I'm just gonna let him you know, I'm just gonna let him fire at me, yeah. Okay, here Ion... comes the missile unless oh, I was gonna say here comes your missile attack. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Ion Hold storms are not your friend. Oh, I want to do this missile artillery, and it's like, nope, sorry. You know what? Fine, I will accept your surrender if it means I'm out of here. This is the one time I will accept my surrender. <laughs> I am pissed off, and you will die. 
You know, I probably shouldn't have been so hasty. In retrospect, I shouldn't have been so hasty, right? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you just fixed that! <laughs> what the hell, game? You can fall apart by missiles! Which is ironic. I know. I think this is what the... I think this is how I got killed off when I, did, when I flew this ship. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... It's just like what the crazy gypsy lady told me! It's like what the gypsy woman predicted. Exactly. I gotta stop seeing her. Yeah, we gotta stop seeing the, the crazy gypsy woman. By the way, Archer is one of my favorite shows. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it, Archer! See? Why can't I put a stopping power? I stopped him from putting his shirt on! <laughs> I think it helps because... He's voiced by such a good talent. Like, he just pulls it off and he makes it so that I you, know. you can't hate yeah. the guy. I was thinking, right, the engine room seems to be a four person engine room. It's like, oh yeah, that's right, you can't you can't just restrict it. <laughs> you can't restrict the engine room like you can, um, Med Bay. Although, in the Obsidian Cruiser, the uh, Med Bay wasn't restricted. Even though it was a yeah. uh, four thing. In some of the ships I've actually designed, I, um, Sometimes make it a four-person med bay because it's really annoying to have a three-person one. But other times I'm like, nope, three-person med bay because tradition. Pretty much. Yeah, fair although, enough. Although I do put a station in for the clone bay. Yeah. But otherwise, otherwise the cloning tank will be off. What will be like, you know, not on the actual room itself. It'll be floating in space. Space. Space clone. Space clone. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, let's like, surrender! No. Fuck you! Oh, look! You know what? I'm not even gonna fire. Wait, you gonna wait for the artillery? Yep! You wanted to see an artillery right, start like, on camera! It does seven, I think it does up to seven damage. Why don't you the adaptive missile? Yeah, they can't hurt me. They can't hurt me. <sighs> Still, I think this is a good idea. I think I think, I think the worst idea for a grenade or a missile, or whatever, is an adaptive explosive. <laughs> really? Like, you, know, you have a, you have a grenade that can um like we're gonna have a bomb which can have a heat that can be set from like a small explosion to a big explosion, so you don't have to carry five different explosives around. That's stupid. I think mean, I mean, that's the stupidest idea ever. Damn it! Because you know you pretty much you pretty much have the explosive power of five bombs in it, but you're only using one. Crap. Yeah, I don't get it. Like they, they just do that. Crap. I'm mad now. Well, that's what happens when you, that's what happens when you think, hey, I can just you know let this let this um. Shut up. <laughs> hey, I I think the same thing too. Yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah, Rebel right, Control. The but, I guess Rebel Control. No, it's because I don't want to go Good through that nebula. I don't like going through nebula areas. Yeah, if I can't help it. Mm. Okay, I don't think he can hurt me. Told ya, what a man, Chips. What a man, Chips is very hard to hit. <sighs> they don't have power dedicated to life support. So Med Bay or Clone Bay, what do you prefer? Well, it depends on the ship. Like, I used to be like, I used to be a person to go, Clone Bay, saving crew, awesome! And just always use it. But, these days, I've, I found both have their merits. I like the Med Bay because... If you can get the NG Medibots, that can be a lifesaver uh, in a lot of situations. I don't usually, I don't usually bother the Medibots. I mean, I love the Medibots. I'm just saying, I don't usually bother with the Medibots because it's just, well, Medibots. Medibots! They're great and all, but I'd rather have something that can, um, I'd rather have an, oh, a useful augment. But it is a useful augment. 
Not, like, not for the playstyle I go with. Eh, yeah, fair enough. Hey, to each our own, right? Yeah, pretty much. Even if it's wrong. <laughs> oh, screw you! <laughs> hey, you want me to turn this ship around? Because I will turn this ship around! Hey, that's the ship I'm trying to design. The ship that looks like it's constantly flying away from the enemy. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? So, if, so, if, so I wonder how the spassy would threaten each other, though. He'd be like, you know, if you do not... If you do not stop... So if wait, hold on, hating, hold on, hold on. Time out, time out. Run around and get it into combat. Wait, one question. So, if it's turned around, does that mean I'm pooping missiles? Well, the spat the eluder does have a does have a weapon called the butt. <laughs> what? The backwards utilizing cracking torpedo. Which you know, shoots backwards at the enemy. Okay. Please let there be a debate, store. Debate, I need debate, to repair. Oh friend. look! The, the missile master master. wanted more! But don't, but don't forget the spaffy prayer. Oh god, please don't kill me now! <laughs> Tomorrow will be so much better! <laughs> okay... Well, I wouldn't mess with the spaffy. Those, those guys, those guys are badass. <laughs> they were attacked by a bunch of freaks called the evil ones. And they're like, you know, Bronze Age people, you know, spears and steels and stuff. But when they were threatened by the evil ones, the ultimate evil, they spent, they took, they spent, took them a hundred years, going from Bronze Age shields and stuff, to spaceships. Huh. Not bad. So they could escape, they could escape to their moon. Get away from the ultimate evil. The ultimate evil! Pretty much how they say it. <sighs> that was annoying. Yeah, with the, uh, Why isn't the there a store around here? I need to... I, I need agree. To get, I need to join, like, AAA. A... Oh, right, another burst. Like, are you play... What difficulty are you playing on? What? What difficulty are you playing on? What? What difficulty are you on? Because, seriously, what's up with all those Burst Laser 2s? Uh, I'm playing on easy. I know, what's up with all those Burst Laser 2s? Maybe the game is adapting itself, like, it wants me to suffer. Well, that could be a possibility. I mean, it is FTL after all. And it does have AIs in there. Who's to yep. say that FTL isn't an AI? Hmm. There's a store! Yes! Yes! Store! Don't hit repair all! <laughs> no! I fuck that! I need it! <laughs> that's that's the problem. Sell the small bomb. You're not gonna you're not gonna need the small bomb. No, nah, no, I'm not. And the emergency respirators, like you're gonna use those. Oh well, yeah, I forgot I had emergency respirators. Yeah. Oh. Maybe the rock plating. Do you ever use the rock plating? Eh. You know what, I'd rather, here's what I think, I'd rather, I, listen, I'd rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. 15%, dude. Oh, Defense Scrambler, get that. Yes. Look, look, if I could drop it away if I need it, if I don't need it, okay? Well, the thing is, if you sell it now, if you get a third augment, if you get a randomly gifted augment from someone, you can sell that and get more money. All right, all right, I'll, I'll take your advice. I mean, that's what happens with Crystal Vengeance. I immediately, I immediately sell Crystal Vengeance. Oh, hey, look! There's a, there's a store right next to it! Yay! Hmm. Drone control, backup battery, uh... Wrong use. Reigniter! Oh! Oh! See what you can sell! See what you sell! Quick, go to sell! Hit sell! Give me the swarm missiles! Okay, let's do it. <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> I you will now! Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna need you. Okay, what's that line that Samuel L. Jackson says in uh, Pulp Fiction? That, you know, he will be like uh, your god or something? What was that line well, he yeah, goes? You got, the, you got the pre igniter, so I think this calls for a certain sound effect for. 
Kaboom. What? You can't hear that? Nope. I'll put my microphone directly at my speakers. <laughs> I don't know, that's a good idea. Well, okay, I was putting my microphone directly at the speakers so I could play the item get sound from Zelda. Oh, dun 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 dun! Pretty much. Not, not just dun 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 dun! Oh, no, no, like, no, you know, the whole no, 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 here's how it goes. Dun 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 Exactly. That's the sound I wanted to play. Yeah. Ah! Oh, get the hell get off! Get him into the med bay! Get him into the med bay! Yeah, I know, I know. I'm just picking out guys to go and kick their ass. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, come on! I agree. What the? What the? What the? F? Are you? Did I really set it button? to easy? What the hell are you doing? Uh, you get might get want to over there! Into, into that room, including a pilot. Alright, get everyone out of there now. Quick, what's yeah, going on? I know, I know, I know. I'm moving, I'm moving. Good, that's very great. Someone died. Alright, how are you, Med Bay? Oh, god dick. See, this is why I keep it on you! <laughs> because, in a panic, I forget I turned it off. Well, that's the thing is, you gotta, you gotta pay attention to your systems. Okay. You gotta multitask. Alright. You could say I learned that from playing RTS games, but that'd be a lie. I still haven't learned how to multitask. Okay, now I can keep both of them on! Yay! Got, yeah, I think your next choice is to upgrade weapons. Yes, because I want to launch both of them. Or if you get any lasers or whatever. We're not using lasers in this game. Well, just want to let you know, you have uh, about 20 missiles left. Oh, god damn it! I forgot! MISSILES ARE LIMITED! Hey, you know what? Can you do me a favor? Can you, like, uh, update this mod so there's, like, uh, a file you can download that gives you just 9,999? Just, be just because... Uh, why would I want to do that when I can simply just change the weapons to not use any missiles at all? It'd be the same thing. Do that! I'm just saying, though, is, um, then what, what would be the difference between that and a laser? That goes through shields. Well, you still gotta play with mods, okay? Look, come on. Uh, Honestly, I'm, all a big fan, I'm all a big fan of cheating mods. Eh, me? I'm okay with, uh, with an occasional ship. Then, then again, I'm, ship. A, I'm the same guy who made the Goose and everyone's playing that ship. Look, the way I see like, it is... It, it is my most downloaded ship. Out of all the ships I've made, the Goose is the most, most popular one. I wouldn't thread the needle here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, pirate NG. or NG? Pirate. NG. NG. Damn it, Let's I went combat pirate. You'll get, you'll get, uh, you could have gotten your missile stock back. At the NG sector, you probably have less combat and you probably get more rewards, which include missiles. Attack okay. the slaver scum! But it's a Zoltan. Attack the slaver scum! They might give you, they might give it for, for free. Alright, you know what? Let's go for it. I, when it comes to god ships and stuff, the way I see it is, sometimes it's nice to have some fun and feel like an overpowered badass. I understand that there should be balance in mods. I get that. Who it's all about? It is overpowered. Then look at that free rock man. I swear to God. Put him indoors. <laughs> That's Nick me. Put Kapaka indoors or. Yeah, I'm gonna have him operate the doors. Mm -hmm. uh, I swear to God, if I get nothing but Rockman, I am going to be pissed. Why? It is a rock ship. <laughs> yes, but I like a little bit of right. God damn it! I hate it whenever. It's like you look for the ship and then. Oh, by the way, if you had rock placing, you would have gone. You would have gotten the crystal ship. <laughs> but here's the thing: if you had the rock placing, you wouldn't have the pre igniter. <sighs> or the defense scrambler. Okay, shut up. Count your blessings. Are you trying to make me mad? <laughs> no, but you're doing a good job at it. Yeah. 
You know what? I think we're gonna get a lot of likes on this video because of my insanity. Missile. Okay, I'm calm. I'm calm. Um. Now, there's actually another idea for a missile weapon you can have, an ionizing missile. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, what it would do is do missile damage, but the thing about ion weapons is that if they pass through shield, it does ion damage to the shield or it hits something. Hmm. So if you've got an ion weapon shield piercing, you know those piercing ion weapons you might see in Captain's Edition? Yeah. Well, like, like, like those. When the ion passes through a shield, it does damage to the sheet. It does a um, does ion damage to it, and then ion damage when it hits the target. I hate being here. Pulsar. I hate this place. Uh, uh, you could have hit. You could have hit the end. The weapons. To stop that black gun. I know. I just don't want them to miss. I just didn't want the missiles to miss. Fair enough. They're called missiles for a reason. I know. They always miss when you seem to use them, and they and they never seem to miss when they do. Yep. No surrender. And there's there's your um there's the. Okay. All right. Just by, by, by the way, your missiles are unpowered. And you land on an asteroid field. Great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shields up. What do you think I'm trying to do? I don't know. Not get your shields up. I hate you so much right now. I think it's just the asteroid. I think it's the asteroid belt talking. Yeah, it probably is. Okay, right. you guys that's suck. Their shields. You know their shields a bit. Well, Fuck let's, you let's, guys! Let's, let's, let's let the artillery solve it. Yes. Okay, one more, one more hit and then... Bye bye! Kablansky! Hey, there's a mantis on here. Let's smash him! Yeah, that's right. Rock beat, rock beat scissors. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was really clever. That, that honestly was really clever, man. But then again, then again, you can have a case of, of, of scissors cutting rock. That is true. Well, good thing, it, good thing, you, miss, good thing you miss, I'll say screw you, shields. Yep. You, know, you, don't, you don't even need to hit weapons with it. Um, they got ions, yeah, and that's going to cut through. And uh, a pike beam only does one damage. Oh right, I thought it was something. I thought it was a different one. No, the hal the halberd's shorter. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I I sometimes can't re remember who it does what. Okay, let's see how beam, this does. The pike beam is a long one. Did I seriously miss every shot with that with that? Well, that's how that's how the spread that's how the spread system works. You saw it with the castaway. Fair enough. Fair enough. The I can't argue with that one. In that Every every projectile launched fire artillery has its own spread. Okay, so essentially when we get to the if we somehow make it to the last ship, it's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna missile them down. So um, when you, when I say, when I say missile ship as well, does that include flak? Maybe. Because flak is a physical projectile rather than a, yeah, rather yeah. than yeah. Uh, you know, I will allow that. I would allow that. Yeah, we're, we're, we're not using lasers. That's the point. Yeah. You're not, you're not the red tail. And look at that. Someone's leveled up in the missiles. Yeah. Firing all missiles. Hey, does... That was here's my enough. question. Do explosive replicators stack? No, they don't. That sucks. I know. I tried. I tried modifying it to have a hundred percent, but it wouldn't work that way. Really? That's why the missile marker has so many missiles. Because I hate the bulwark. Hmm. Bul bulwark. I hate that. I hate that ship so much. Yeah. 
you never have enough missiles for what you need to do. Yeah, that's the Whereas problem. Point, you're supposed to have you're supposed to have enough missiles for what you need to do, but you're going to need it. You're going to need something that doesn't use it. Sell all the drone parts. That's the funny thing is that I still don't sell all the drone parts, even if I um, even if I am actually using a hacking drone. Yeah. Ugh. You guys are a bunch of idiots. Well, look like they can't harm you. Yeah, but you know, they're, they still brought you me. You can harm them very easily because you got missiles. You know what? I'm not even gonna do anything. I'm just gonna let the sun and my artillery take care of well, this. Well, one thing you can do is emergency event protocol 23. That's what I can call it, where you pause the game, vent out every single room except for the rooms your crew are currently sitting in. No, no. What you do is you hit, you hit the hotkeys. I think it's um, X for open all doors. Uh, no. Oh wait. Oh, and X twice, I think it is. Uh, X Z. closes. Try Z then. Try Z twice. Now seal the doors connecting your rooms to the crew. Um, just seal, just seal, seal doors around your crew. Not, not, not all the rooms. Just all the rooms except, except for your crew. Okay. Uh, now unpause. Okay, hold on. I. I'm just yeah, making pause. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, got has a piloting has a vent behind it. Feel it. Feel the vent behind it. Oh, piloting. I didn't notice that. I did not notice I that. I forgot to. But see, look, emergency vent protocol 23. You vent out everything except for the important rooms. And given that they're a bunch of rock men, fire does not matter. Yeah, but it does damage your ship, so be careful. Point taken. Hey, at least we're boosting up our shields and dodging capabilities. I call it Emergency Event Protocol 23, because I was playing Dawn of War. And the, and the Space Marines, they attack, they say something like, you know, Initiating Attack Protocol 23. Even though it doesn't actually do anything, it's just what they say, and they say it all the time. Right. So why not have it been... Attack Warhammer protocol, to me... Emergency Event Protocol 23, vent it all. <laughs> I think Warhammer's okay. You know, I get Fail them. Yeah, let's see. Yes! Oh! Lots of fuel! I mean, I mean sure it costs you it costs it costs you valuable missile supply, but Yeah, fuel is also very valuable, cause yeah. Especially in Captain's Edition. Oh my god, yeah. See, you gotta here's, how, fuel okay, to here's get what anywhere. I consider the difficulty of Captain's Edition. I consider the difficulty of Captain's Edition on par with normal play, with normal difficulty, uh, in the vanilla game. Yep. If you play on easy. Captain Edition wasn't supposed to be won on hard. People have done it. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. I'm just saying that the way I see it. Yeah. Just saying, I'm 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 so used to the game and its mechanics that. I I, when I, 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 like, I like I can't really play on easy. I have to play on normal. Hey, don't worry. Hey, it's okay. Me, I just play how I want to play. Now, I will play on harder difficulties when I know I'm playing with my god ship, so you don't need to worry about that. I'm guessing you're gonna fly the goose hang on hard. Yeah, I gotta. It's the only way I'll make you happy. Well, I'm gonna say, you know, hey, play on hard difficulty. I'm just saying, you probably want to play it because it'd be too easy otherwise. <laughs> Obviously. I had to do that with the, uh, uh, with the Merlin, which, yeah. Yeah. Of course, then again, I willfully went in with the, uh, super crazy overpowered version. Hmm. They're not giving you missiles. Die! Don't try and be a hero. Be a hero. Okay. I right love there, seeing it. I just love seeing it. <laughs> hey. Go home, drone. You're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I sent him home. Really I think I sent him home. Drones. It's like, seriously, how much to know that a scrambler? <laughs> like that position. What? Sorry, what'd you say? Stop them from fleeing. I didn't hear what you said. 
Stop them from fleeing! Crush them all! Oh, okay, got it. Okay, they're offering Continue five the misses. Assault. You're only you're you're not too far from killing them. But they're offering me five missiles. Mm, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I am now, wasting a lot of missiles. Attack them again. Yeah, forget fuel. Actually, I think we got we're good for fuel for now. Hey, more, more missiles! Yay! Well, you say you're good for fuel now, but then suddenly you'd be like, why do I have no fuel left? Where did it all go? Ah, uh, if only I could get another one. <laughs> or they can't stack. Eh, fine, I'll grab as much fuel. Oh no, I'm out of popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> We're all out of something! <laughs> hey! Are you out of chocolate milk? <laughs> what? I got a chocolate milk. Uh, I'm out of chocolate milk. I'm also out of soda. All I have is water. Damn, <laughs> it's so hot. Milk was a bad choice. What? No. Don't remember that. Don't remember Anchorman. Oh God! No. What? 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 Remember that scene? I think I remember the line. I just can't remember the context. He's on bed. He's in his dressing. He got fired. He's in his dressing gown. He's. Walking down the street and he's drinking a carton of milk, and then he starts to drink it. He's got his, he's got his big beard of sorrow, oh, God. and then it's like, you know, it's so damn hot. Milk was a bad choice. <laughs> oh God, yes, I think I remember. Yeah, Anchorman, that was a pretty decent movie. I know. They bring, the... they bring you the news. So you don't have to go out and get it. Yeah, it wasn't the best comedy, but you could tell they were having fun at least. I the know. The sequel was pretty good. You're the cage. Ooh. See? I, I, I used to just sabotage it, you know, sabotage it, get, a, get an extra fleet delay, but if you secure the cage, if you secure the cash, or cash, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we pronounce it cash where I am. Yeah. Pretty much. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Hmm. Let's Shield try and help. Yay. Now, have you had rock plating? <laughs> yes, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just pointing out, I'm just pointing out potential blue option. Hmm. Uh, I'd go for it. Oh, yeah. That's actually, like... actually, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I was gonna say, wait a minute, consider the, consider the cost of a reactor upgrade. Yeah, but that means that... <clears throat> yeah, but how much do you spend on missiles? Oh, good point. Um, I'd think, I'd, I'd think three layers of shield. You think I could make it? Yeah, thread the needle. Thread the needle. Yeah, I'm now using that in my vernacular. Oh, repair. Neat. See? Oh my yeah, god, that is yeah. way too close. What's the thing about FTL? You got to know when you can thread and when you shouldn't. Zoltan Homeworld! 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 I don't care. I don't care if your missiles have to go through the Zoltan Shields first. But you know, true progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Because the Zoltan hate you. And they hate everyone else, including other Zoltan. Yeah, I know, right? Why does everybody hate each other? Why can't we be friends? Well, you can ask why are the rebels fighting? Ugh. Hmm. See, now that's a halberd beam. Hey! Hey! Vent, hey! Vent, 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 vent artillery! Don't send them in for. Don't send them in. Vent hey, jackass! Artillery. Get the hell out of there! Yeah, let him suffocate. Then bring someone in. No, no, uh, it's through, cool. Don't worry, we're good. Once, once, he, once he breaks through, seal all the doors, and then get the code base. I'm not bringing him back. Seal all the doors. Seal all the doors. Sorry, I'm sorry, I. There you go, man is dead and they can't revive him quickly. Ka boom. Although the NG might appear, the NG might come in and go, hey, I'm an NG, I can fix every I can fix it. I think I just dropped a missile on him. Yeah, the NG is like, you know, the NG's are fix it, Felix. I can fix it. 
be, it's a good it, movie, Wreck It Ralph. Well, the ma the man just would be Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> no, no, I think it's the Rock Men. Mm, okay, fair enough. I'm gonna wreck it. Exactly. I this, mean, they're big. This, they're bulky. I can, this unit can fix it. This unit can bring it back to operational capacity. And suddenly they're Daleks. Well, I'm trying to. That's sort of the robotic voice, isn't it? <laughs> or, um, or, I am an Daleks engine. Daleks aren't robots. Well, no, but the and well, the well, the engine aren't robots either. Okay. Why out, can't we be Don't friends? Why can't we be friends? One thing I like about the clone bait, though, is going on the surface. Okay. Uh, uh, Sure. What do you think? Should we bring him, the crazy guy up? It's all a big loss. What? Try it. Do it. Bring him back on board. See? It's not a big loss. You lost five hull. <laughs> That's five hull I'm not going to get back so easily. And well, there's like a store nearby. No, you get free repairs from someone. Uh, hail, hail, hail. Why can't uh, we one, be friends? One, Why can't we be friends? We got an odd boy. We got an odd boy. And I almost get out of the door. Open the door. I don't want to do that. So the question is, where are you going to put on boy? That's a good question. That... He's good with shields. Yeah, I guess it's true, but you need like another Zoltan for it to be really good. I, I know, could... but... You know, I'm thinking I'm going to put them in shields. the engines. Just saying, it's very hard to train shields. It's true. So yeah, we'll put them there. Uh, yeah, you might want to um, move move that rock man out and put him in sense. Put Emma in senses. Yeah, I, I'm just... Uh, sorry, I'm just sort of... Brain farts. Now hit the question mark key to save stations. Yeah, I know. I got. I'm, I'm clicking it here. Come on, give me a break. I know. Hey, I'm, give, I'm giving you hot key. I'm giving you hot key advice. Hot hot key advice. <laughs> hot key tips. Uh, I hate you. Did so. you know the end button is hacking? Wait, what? I know. When you hit N, you launch a hacking. You can uh, get your hacking drive. What? 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 Should it be H at least? I think H. Well, it's next to mind control. It's next to M, which is for mind control. I thought, and W is for Wumba. No, it's the um, it's for Wumbo. Wumbo, right? I thought uh, Wum. Yeah, it's Wumbo. I mean, come on, you got a Wumbo. You got to get a Wumbo in your life. <laughs> oh, I hate no! this. Those guys. I hate this. Uh, how much shields do you need anyway? Okay, you know, I think the re will power, be power your weapons now. The pre ignite is going to expire. <laughs> okay. Alright, we're going to have to do this. Gotta do my bow. <laughs> Blam! <laughs> Freaking hate See, if, you, this. If, you keep their, if you keep hitting their weapons, they're going to they're going to divert power to their shields. But since it's got missile weapons, it doesn't matter. I hate this place. Whereas if you divert power, if you destroy their shields first, they'll divert, divert power to their weapons. All right, I'm diverting power to all my sh to to our Moe missile barrage. <laughs> Adorable. Oh, that's going to hurt. Yeah, good luck trying to escape. No! Oh, wait, yes. Yes! You were lucky you had that many missiles on you. Yeah, that's why the fact is, well, then again. They didn't have a missile that, launcher. No wonder they had so much to give us. I was saying exactly like a, when we fly, when you normally fly a ship without missiles. That's what happens. You end up with so many missiles on board. You're like, huh? Where did I get all yeah, this stuff from? Exactly. Why do I need this much? Remember to power it on in combat. <laughs> I hate you. It, unlike the Mantis ship. I think was, wasn't there a Mantis ship that had like a participant in the study? Yay! Bend them out. Bend them out. Yeah, just bend them out. <laughs> I love oh, that. also bend that guy out. Yep. 
Okay, move move your senses, rock man, into the med bay. Move yeah, Emma into the rock bay. Good idea. Uh, oh, no, crap. no, no. Why was I? I I made mistakes were made. Know, mistakes were made. Boy, you're dying. Mistakes were made. Whoa. See, envoy can power can power it up for ya. Yes, I know. I know. See, you can keep med bay powered with envoy. Mistakes were made. Quick, bring in, bring another rock man. Bam. Okay. Bam. Just die. Yay. And now they're all dead. Oh, combat drone. You got a combat too. drone. Woohoo! Vendor trash. Yes. Although I will admit the combat drone is pretty good. Well, yeah, but are you gonna buy a drone system? Maybe. That's the thing. I don't really bother. Like, I don't really bother much with drones. Yeah, I mean, let's face it. What we want are missiles. Well, yeah, but I'm just saying. In, it, in most of my runs, I don't end up with uh, I just don't buy drone control. And what? I really hate those shit where they force you to use it. I don't mind that. I I, I don't mind. Well, what I, what I, I mean, like, like for example. You got a ship with um, which has like I don't know some kind of gimmick going on, and they decide, oh well, let's have a system repair drone. No, but we I... need drone control for it. Okay. So what you end up with is, is a um, ship with a, with, a, with a redundant drone control system. God damn it! I freaking hate. I hate my luck right now. That's why you need an NG on board. If in doubt, an NG will be helpful. I'll take a system repair drone at this point. Yes, autopilot everything. I'll just upgrade a lot of this stuff. <sighs> hammer, hammer, mallet, hammer, <laughs> hammer, mallet. <laughs> Like well, I think I got the name of the, uh, the Let's Play. Missile Mastering with... Style RJ. Wah! I don't even a remember getting... Massive Missile Massacre. What? Massive Missile Massacre? With, with Style RJ? Or RS? Probably works. Styles RJ. Why, why'd you pick that name anyway? Um, for last name, my first and middle name. Wait, you you have a name? You have styles in your name? Yep. Okay. <laughs> hey, I'm not That's gonna... exactly why I chose it. Well, I exactly why my parents chose the name, and I just stuck with it for all these years, since kindergarten. Hey, I'm not gonna... I don't saying, judge. It's... <laughs> Cons considering... Considering, what, considering that everyone else uses stuff like, you know, um... I don't know. You know, Sexy Princess 69. God damn it. Like, you know, Sexy Princess 69, and then later on in life, they realize they need something professional for their email, for their, for, you know, getting a job and all that, and it's like, well, you shouldn't have chosen Sexy Princess 69. Yeah, at least with me, my email is my actual name, and as for Brent Tenkage, at the very least, it's simple and memorable. I want to make it sounds professional as well. Yeah. At the oh very... no, Envoy! Yes, I know. I'm just having him fix everything. So, you guys! Not Envoy! He's gonna die horribly. Hmm. There we go. Hey, hey, no, Zoltan's a guy. Zoltan have no genders according to Captain's Edition. Yeah. I think they do have genders, but they're beings of energy and I think maybe they depict genders for our benefit rather than their own like the NG choosing that choosing that form to um you know to sit to communicate with others yeah I like to think that NG at least refer to themselves as them rather than he she because it makes sense they're made of nanobots I kind of think of them like the gif exactly so, oh, look at all that money. Look at all that money. Money! 
We actually well, okay, could now, afford. Get a, get a slug. I recommend buying the slug and the Zoltan the NG. Okay, Zoltan works too, but uh, never mind. Alright, fix everything. Get fuel. Get missiles. Okay, now, take Nick me off piloting and put Ken in charge. Alright? So if the enemy has a mind control system, they can't take out your piloting. Okay. Now, you... I wouldn't recommend stationing... I wouldn't recommend stationing someone in med bay. You want to keep that open for everyone. You know what, I'll just keep them over in there. So they can yeah, be fixed. I'm just saying, you don't want someone in med bay because you want to keep it open in case you have an emergency. Like, you know, entire ship on fire and yes. everyone has insert my bio beams. And, of course, the coffee machine... And, and of course, the coffee machine has been powered up recently. <laughs> <laughs> intruder alert! Intruder alert! In alert cancelled! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder cancelled! All intruders, please report to the detention zone! <sighs> Get Ken out of there and replace him with Ryu! Yes! Yes! <laughs> Just saying! Dun 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 you know what, maybe I should start doing Guile. You know what, I'm gonna do Guile's theme for now on every time there's a fight now. I think I've been over we've overplayed the uh Star Trek battle theme. So let's go Guile's theme. Alright. I'm, honestly, I haven't played. I haven't actually played Street Fighter. Like I, I've heard of it. I've heard of a few things. I know those Rio and Ken and all that. Uh, Kaplaka doesn't need healing. Wait. Oh, I picked it. I picked out the wrong persons. They all look the same the to me. I'm sorry. Room. Sorry, they all look the same to me. Racist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Technically, cool, yes. I mean, I'm, I am Melia, I am Princess Melia of Brackos. <laughs> and you think I, I look like every other rock man and sound like every other rock man? Yes. Oh, you're a racist. And you're a rock person. We are rock men. I don't call you Hugh person. <laughs> you are Hugh. What no, the you hell are we Hugh doing? Person. I don't call you Hugh person. I don't see why you have to throw your political, your social justice on me! Uh, let's not get into that. Exactly. No, I hate I social seriously. justice warriors. Uh, They're not real warriors. Okay, I drones, go home, you're drunk. Oh, so you think all men sound the same? Ah! Ah, look at those gas bags burn! Ah. I'm a mantis. I'm allowed to be racist. I, I hate, hate this place. Mantises are allowed to be racist. They have, they have privileges. Yeah. Because if they, if, um, you know, if they... Because if you want to question a mantis for being racist, they'll tear you apart. Pretty much. <laughs> so you just let them be. It's like it's like it's like a crazy guy who's ram who's shouting at the corner of a street or whatever. You're like, you know, I wanna do something about it, but it's best to just walk away. No no, it's more it. like that what those shit posters on 4chan. Did I seriously <laughs> did ah! Stop missing shot Shot Hey! Hey! Sweet! <laughs> You actually got the achievement about defense drones. Which? Now, in the enhanced audio pack, it would go bleep bloop. <laughs> okay. Oh, I was gonna say, if you had an <laughs> engine. If you had an engine on board. Shut up! <laughs> the engine would repair the system from a distance and go, yep, I can do that apparently. <laughs> How do they do that? That doesn't Their even make energy. any sense. Do not question the ways of the NG. They are as mysterious as the ways of the Nugget. Ugh. I mean, you know about the ways of the Nugget, don't you? No. 
Because the ways of Nuggets are very mysterious as well. Shut up! You ever, you ever, you ever seen a Let's Play of Kindergarten? No? Oh. <laughs> oh, you should have a look at Kindergarten, the game. I don't know what it is. You're essentially a kid in Kindergarten who has to, has to survive the day. You got a janitor who'll try and kill people with his mop. What? Yeah. Yes, you got war. What? <laughs> Don't you hate it when the missiles... When the missile weapon's the last one to get powered down? Treat the explosion? Have it be the last weapon to be destroyed. I know, right? Aha! Burn! Ahaha! Those meat sacks! Look at them burn! Nothing more glorious than meat sacks burning, except maybe meat sacks being cut apart by mantis claws! Okay, we're getting into some dark moments, dude. Are you sure you don't need some psychological help, dude? The mantis don't need psychological help. Our psychologists also advocate combat. Okay, you think I can make this? Uh, hit, hit the exit. Get to this gate pods. So I, I would not risk it. Okay. Alright, looks like you will be out of fuel for the next sector for the pirate control. This is gonna suck. Well, stress beacon noises. Ah! Beep, 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 beep. beep 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 beep. Have the slug make the purchase. Yes. Ah, okay. Cool. See? I think a slug on board is awesome. Yeah, well I don't like them. What I'm saying, having a slug on board. You saw what happened just- you saw what exactly what just happened there. Yeah. You didn't get scammed. You got a great- you got a great deal for fuel out of it. Yeah. You didn't get scammed? You didn't have an explosive attached to your ship. Thank God! See, this is why I don't like slugs! Because every event that involves them, they're always trying to fuck with you! Unless you have a slug on board to make sure they don't fuck with you. Surrender is not an option. Kill them all. Yep. You don't want a you don't want a foolish meat sack on board. Yeah. I just hate when that engine's like you. Know, hey, I'm an NG. Oh, guess what? Okay, so pirates. Are, oh, so you're not pirates? Cool. Okay, hmm. I'd say Dalton Shield Bypass, but you don't have anything that bypass Dalton Shields. Cloaking, cloaking, ah. Sell stuff, eh. Uh, sell nah. stuff, sell things you can... I what you can sell. What can you sell? Nothing. You can Damn. sell the weapon for igniter. You want to sell that and get the get cloaking? What do you think you'll need in the end? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just saying, it's probably your last chance to get cloaking. I know, I know. <laughs> do you know how hard it is to do this? I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to weigh the options as well. <laughs> Hold on to it. Hold on to it. Ah. Cloaking, cloaking, cloaking. <sighs> well, then again, you know the pre-ignite doesn't really help that much when it comes to um certain weapons. Like the Vulc it helps get your Vulcan get an extra head start, but. You're already kicking ass. Yeah. And then of course this cap this happens. Which is why you, you wait don't cloak when the Artemis fires, cloak when the big when the bullshit missile fires. Fire, cloak! Wait for it. Oh. Ah. You wait till the big missile fires, Sorry, then you cloak, I may I, I, I hesitated, that. I hesitated. I know. I'm not very good with stealth ships. Well, the cloak, think of it as a, as a dodge button. You blew the R wing. Yeah, ah. I did. Get everyone, in, get everyone in the cloaking the room or something. Okay. Once again, get someone else in the oxygen room before. Ah, now you have to redo. The, now you have to do repairs all over again. I know. I screwed up. I screwed up. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Yeah. Personally, I'd ignore those breaches. They're not important. Uh, you got a good point. It's just that if every time I see them, it's like... I know, it's, it's 
you're temp I'm also tempted to just steal them up, but in some cases you just don't need to because they're not in they're not in the way. It's like seeing someone at yellow health, you can't help but throw them in the med bay. Yeah, exactly. Even if it's just like a few health, you're just like, uh, even though, I gotta even do you this. Want HP. <sighs> All right. Uh, he ignited like yes, a yes, I know the plan. I know, I know what, I know what I gotta do. I know what I gotta do. Just go. Thing is, it'd be funny if you got a pre-ignited a random augment. You know what? That would actually be kind of hilarious. Okay. Okay. Remember the, remember your cloaking, remember the cloaking options. Remember what the crazy lady told you. Okay. Let me just. Uh... Uh, look at the, look at the artillery. Okay, okay you know, did I seal everybody up? Okay, I think we're good. Yep, everything's all sealed. Patch is sealed. Prepare cloaking, but don't fire until they until you see the whites of their eyes. Go! Oh, 85% of course is in is involved in this. You haven't heard about the um you haven't heard about the uh, 85 the 80 percent the 80s gang? No. The 80s gang is a very dangerous group of individuals who um who will mess who will mess with your um with your odds of death. And they are led by the elusive 85%. If you have an 85% chance of doing something, he will strike you. He will strike. 80% is also also will strike you. And he's like and he's pretty damn and he's a pretty damn tough one to, to, to beat. Okay, so we have four missiles, or six missiles left. Ugh, this sucks. Press beacon. Yeah, I'm heading straight for the beacon. Yeah, why, why not lead him to... Yeah, we're oh, gonna lead them. you to the... Yeah, we're just gonna lead you to the beacon. Through them. Reject their offer. Yeah. Like, you're not gonna pay no toll. You're, you're, a, you're a trucking convoy. We're gonna truck this convoy into the night. We're gonna truck this convoy ain't in a beautiful sight. Missile. Uh, danger bomb going to explode. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna Come have on, to. Come on, convoy. Nothing gonna get in our way. You know what? I am just gonna have to deal. USA convoy. Uh, get that, get the option fixed now. I know, I know, I need to do I know, it. I, I feel like an idiot for not. You gotta use the right voice. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Why is everything on fire? Stop burning everything. It's like... Stop burning everything, Cave Johnson. <sighs> All right, you're not making combustible lemons here. You're not banging rocks, but you are banging rocks together. <laughs> Yeah, Portal 2 was a good game. Bam! As always. Alright, you might recognize. Do you want to use missiles? Do no, I'm saving them. Doesn't have to be a big one. I think we'll be fine. Your missiles will be here to come and slay. Do you want to use missiles? Now you're gonna lose all monetization. Disney's gonna, Disney's gonna be on your ass now. So I, I just sang a Disney. I just sang one of their songs. Parody is protected under copyright. Well, fair, fair enough. I'm just saying, it's like when I when I, when I had Disco Inferno playing on my Dungeon Keeper 2 videos. Okay, yeah. See, was that was game. an actual song. That I know. If you were doing a parody of it. Then you would well, have to deal with the parody on it. Place of my own singing of it. Wait, what? As in, what happened is that when Disco Inferno was playing, I got twenty, like twenty-three different companies claimed the copyright on it. Oh my god! I'm like, what? Twenty-three comp? I mean, how is that even? Yeah, I understand sorry, if it's sorry, the actual sorry, sorry, right Skeletor? holder. You do Skeletor? Yeah, if it was just the Skeletor? rights holder, I get it, but. I'm saying it's Skeletor. Can you please explain the situation? Can you just tell me in your own words what you think of the situation, Skeletor? What? Exactly. <laughs> what? 
the thing. The situation, 23 different companies claim copyright on it. It's like, I thought you can only really have one person claim copyright. Exactly. In any case, I actually over overrode the sound instead with my own singing voice on it. Okay. Just for a laugh. Right. Have you got a copyright claim yet? Yeah, I guess that would do it. Just saying, I haven't got a copyright claim for it yet, so... Obviously my singing's not good enough. <laughs> or hasn't matched whatever magic... Well, it's not good enough for the algorithm. Yeah, whatever magic algorithm thing... Well, people, people say, this is how you get lots of views on YouTube. You gotta use this, you gotta do this in your naming and st of stuff. In my opinion, it's not like that at all. What you gotta do is you gotta sacrifice, you gotta cut the entrails at the right time. <laughs> while making a sacrifice for Apollo. And you gotta make sure Jupiter is in paraphernalia and with the, um, in peripheral with the, um, orbit of Saturn. Oh yeah, that's very important. Yes, and, um, and Pluto must be in, um, must be in apostasis with the, um, with Neptune. Yeah, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. and don't forget about the. You also have to get the right amount of gold to sacrifice to Will Wheaton. That's also uh, very important. Gold. That's right. Kill them all. Okay. Okay. Power down cloak twice. Power up your engines. Because. You don't, you don't really need 15 seconds. What you do need is you need full evasion. Because 95%, 95% might as well be 0%. Might as well be, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to get hit anyway. What I'm just saying is 95% might as well be 0%. <laughs> yeah. I've played enough Civilization and XCOM to know that. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, have you played enough Civilization and XCOM to know how fickle the RNG is? I tried. Keyword being try. Just saying it. That's how the RNG works. Cloak! Oh, never mind. It missed anyway. Yeah, we gotta play the waiting game because we need to save all those missiles for the final ship. For the flagship, indeed. You know it's what? Like, you know, I'm gonna consider it a win if we take it out on the, you know, the at least the first round. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I did like, you know, good idea to buff a cloak, but I don't really power it up beyond level one. So like five seconds is all you need, unless you're flying a stealth ship. Oh, nice, nice, nice dodge. You got them all. I think he's up. Oh, he's not out of ammo. Yeah, they got so many missiles. Stop using all stop having so many missiles! Uh okay. You might want to fix something, you might want to use a missile now. But where do you think they're gonna go when they when they can't fix that system anymore? Besides the med bay. Then they're probably gonna go to piloting. Give take the bribe, take it. Yeah, let's go. They got missiles, now get out of there. Yeah. Last right. gang! We at least made it to the last stand. That at Yay, least is an accomplishment. You did better than I have. What? You did better than I have with this ship. Okay, so if I hit these two repair units, I can yep. get a lot more missiles and scrap. Yep. Do it! Just do it! Okay. Don't let your dreams dreams. Okay? You've got to just do it! All right, head to the base. We're not going to make Ow. it to the end. Um, There's Ow. no way we're going to beat the final ship. Eh, I, that's a beat. That's, oh, store, store, store. Sell stuff if you can. Do you have anything to sell? Who knows? I don't think you can so. sell it. What can you sell? Nothing, but what can you, what can, what can you, what can I you- can't even buy a damn that? missile. Uh, check page two. What else? What can you? What else can you do, puppy dog eyes? At? Mm, puppy dog eyes at the Hermes. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> Just saying. Do you puppy dog eyes at the stuff you want to buy? Okay. Um. 
I would have saved the clanking for the missile barrage. No, I'm, I do not want that hacking drone on me. You're only forced on the inevitable because they're going to, the cloak, you're not going to have your missile started <laughs> at the time. I know. I know. I hate it. Okay. Dead. Woo! You only hit the sensors. So bad. Aim everything at the missile launcher. Rush them. Crush them like Pharaoh egg to under your thigh. Okay, wait for one, one it. The, uh, one thing I like about it, you can know, is uh, cloak it. Cloak, cloak, cloak. Ah, like, one thing I like about it, you know, is can time the missile launch between cloak. Okay. I think we almost got him. All right, so it's far too more Vulcan. Actually, I think we can just wait for... Too late, they can cloak again. No, no, I think we can wait for the fi for the arsenal. Uh, missile, the ma massive missile massacre. Okay, nope, we gotta, gotta use this. That Bam. surprisingly Bam. went better Bam. than expected. That went hey, a lot right. better than store. expected. Okay. Still out of the store. You have, you have three jumps. Nah, it's okay. I think we can no, handle it. No, no, you can still get more scrap and get more reactor power. Damn it! I should have done that. Okay, go to the go to the store. You can do it now. You have, you have, three, you have, you have some time. Okay, now you can't get the reactor power. But do puppy dog eyes at stuff. Wait, pop missiles, missile. Ah, they buy some missiles. Damn it! I... <laughs> or get hull repairs. Oh yeah, kick some butt. Okay. Get the missile launcher first, then. Drone control. Yep, that's the plan. Then again, drone control, like the, the morning drone is a lot is the first like it's the last drone in the list, so it'll be the first one to go when you hit it. Problem is then you get powered down and then Okay. Open up those doors, give the piloting. Back in fact, in fact I've got an idea. Pause the game. Pause the game. Deal all doors. What? Okay. Hit steal all the doors. Okay. Okay, now open all doors one level. Hit the oh, hit the open doors button. Yeah, okay, there you go. Now, air will slide into all those rooms that will slide into the adjacent room. It's gonna drain all your air from your ship slowly. And okay, right now. Okay, pause, okay, slow steal the doors now. Somehow we... Oh my god, we, while that was going on... Get, get out of there now! Whoa! Okay, I... We might actually have a chance! I know! I'm amazed! Yeah! I know! Although, the shield might, might strip you up a bit. Yeah, that's the one problem, but... You got this way for Missile Massacre. Okay... All right, I want all, right. all of you to heal up. Return to your positions. The dun, first heal up. Dun 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 no. dun. All right, all non-vital <laughs> areas. Yeah, well, actually, I think I can keep that. Yeah. All right, all non-vital areas will be. What was that noise? <laughs> Look out, cardboard box. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can do this. Maybe we can win. Maybe we can win. Maybe. You can do it. Don't give up. Do not ever quit. Oh, you God, You can I hate do this, this thing. I'd say bring someone in there to help out, but chances are they'll get killed by the mind control rock, dude. Yeah. Although he might take down two layers. Zin Zin might take down two layers before the control end wears off. Good point. Hey, hey, stop fighting. Well, then again, they're teleporting on board. They're not gonna. Ha they're not gonna go very far. Firing all the missiles. Okay, get, 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 get I know. Out of there. I know. I'm moving him. Ah! Oh, no, Shit! Vent the Stuff artillery. is on fire. Vent the artillery. Right, right, don't, right. You don't bring him in there. Please I know. Up. I'm sorry. I'm just. I'm panicking. No! Oh my god, they're burning! Why are they burning? Come on, we can what do it! Bryn, what did I say about bringing fire onto the ship? 
You don't bring fire onto the ship! Seriously! Oh my god, we did it! Hooray! <laughs> oh my god, I can't! I was really worried there! <laughs> but just remember, the, en the enemy's gate is down. That's all you need to remember. Uh, you... Steal... You, you take a dip into his pool? Well, no. You, you, the enemy's gate is down. You don't remember... You haven't read Ender's game? No? Doesn't matter what your objectives are. As long as... As long as you can... Doesn't matter what happens to your ship. As long as you complete your objective, you win. I guess that's true. That's the reason why people do rush strategies. They don't care what happens to their base. <sighs> they go in there, they, they defeat you, doesn't matter what happens to their base. If you were dead, doesn't matter. This was this was exciting. This was this was a good ship. I know, and you even got you even won with it. <laughs> Somehow. And I'm not even that know, good with I'm, missiles. I'm, I'm going over the result I'm going over the the post battle analysis now and Whoa! I need to science better. Uh, yeah, I think the missile Vulcan and the adaptive missiles are a really good idea. Yeah, I can't believe more, no, no ship can really dumb it, have done this idea before. Yeah, I think it, it's a good idea. I think it's an interesting concept, and the missile Vulcan seems like something that should be in the Captain's Edition, if you ask me. It feels like a weapon that would fit right in. Indeed. Or at least and the also, adaptive I, missile. I mean, the adaptive I mean, missile definitely... Yeah, I mean, the artwork behind the uh, behind those two missiles is essentially the Hermes over the Vulcan. Hey, it works. And I and I actually I'm, I use a, I use it for a lot of my miss for a lot of uh, advanced weapon assets. Hmm. For example, I got the Druze Mauler, which um, uses that weapon as well. Right. Right. Well, hopefully, after I upload this, you'll get a lot more downloads for this ship. Indeed. Yeah. Because I'm asking for... one of those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure and after thank I... you for flying it and winning. Missile Master barely I thanks everyone. <laughs> Even if you are repugnant aliens. Yeah. As always, people, links will be in the description. Hit that bell icon and follow us both here on YouTube. Seriously, we, we post a lot of videos each day. Show us some love, okay? Okay. <laughs> Alright, do you have anything else to add? Oh, look, there's that... Yeah, uh, well... Look, you like the color rock, scheme? <laughs> like the color scheme? Yeah, why pink? Like I said, it's Missile Master Melia. <laughs> painted her ship pink. Because, you know, why wouldn't she? If you like you the know, color pink. You know, actually, if you tilt your head to, to the right, it looks like a really angry face. <laughs> yeah, can well, you it see it? The rock cruiser, it is the Rock Cruiser painted pink. Yeah, it yeah, looks angry. It. These uh, are the eyes. It looks like it looks like Optimus Prime or something like, or an Autobot or a Decepticon. Just <laughs> do 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 do. Yeah, it looks like the logo. <laughs> <laughs> but like the um, the, it's, it's essentially a, a, a repainted a um a rock cruiser pink and then put a uh, rock scout on the front of it. Hey, it's simple enough and it works. I yeah, actually I like these. Ships, uh, I just Look. modify current designs. <laughs> See, that's what I like. I like mixed jobs like this. Because, you know, it make, the assets usually can fit well together, and as long as they can do a decent enough paint job, you usually can't tell the difference. Yeah, true enough, until I point it out. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, yep, we'll, we'll see you next we'll time. Take it yeah. easy, people. I'm going to go to bed. Okay. Have